Hey guys, welcome to Fear and Wine. We are gonna have a first impressions of Flashback 2. Uh, as you know, I've gone and done um, full playthroughs or let's completes of Flashback from 1992 and the remake uh, from, I guess, the 2000s. Um, it's the remake sucked my ass. So I don't know much about this game except that it's made by the the people from uh, the original or the one guy. So hopefully it's good, but we're gonna check it out for a little bit. It's definitely not one you can complete immediately. I think it's about ten hours long, which is fucking crazy to me. But let's uh let's give it a good shake and see if um they did anything brand new with this IP. And hopefully the fucking voice actor for Conrad does not suck. That's the guy, Paul Cusett. That sounds like me when I wake up in the morning. Conrad, oh, definitely. The pod. A time bomb is about to explode. Outside, your survival chances will be Oh, Conrad Hart Adventure. Aisha? Is that you? Five uh -oh. seconds to explosion. It's been an honor serving under you, Cadet Hart. Flashback 2. Now, even though this is a Red Dead Redemption kind of spin, where even though it's part two, this is taking place eight years before uh, the first one. All right, we're injured. I was lucky to make it out alive, but I'm hurt. I need a med kit. Okay, use that restore health. Got it. Oh, okay. Much better. But where am I? Let's find Aisha. She'll fill me in. Hang on to a high I element. I dozed off in a shuttle, and here's where I wake up? What's going on? Oh, God, he's terrible. That was Aisha's voice I heard just before the blast. Oh, and he won't shut the fuck. All right, got another med kit. All right, let's go up. It looks really good. Lighting's really nice. Oh, roll. Yeah, that boy, white boy's got some ups. Could've made an effort to decorate a bit. No, oh, no. Okay, good thing that's still working. No, oh, my guy he talks so much. Oh. I like that it's like 3D. Like, uh, like fully, you can go back. It's not just side-scrolling 2D. It's pretty cool. Where's Aisha? I can't find her. Boy. The elevator isn't working. Who's whiny? Come on. Aisha, where are you? Okay, so they're not gonna use cutscenes. Over here, Conrad. Oh, she's a gun? Even though I am but a simple artificial intelligence, Conrad, I am happy to be at your service. Jump really high for a white guy. Man, why am I not being notified about my co the comments? Sorry if I took me a minute to get to that. Okay. Aisha, status report. Where am I and what am I doing here? <laughs> he looks young, but I mean, it is eight We're years prior. Washington. Which wouldn't it make him like Titan fucking 16 years old or something? That your friend Ian Nemechek set up. Planet Titan, New Washington, and Ian. So far, we're rehashing the first game. May 22, 2134, local time T1430. Okay. New Washington? But I was in a shuttle headed for Earth. I was about to uncover an alien conspiracy. Like in the first and game. You, Aisha, I'd left you at the GBI. Exactly, Conrad. I and downloaded my neural network and installed it in this sidearm. Granted, Aisha wasn't the machine in which she woke up. Aisha wasn't in the first yeah. game. Where is he? I think they have like a whole comic book like um series so on this. They just broke into the laboratory. They hit him. They planted a bomb. Then they took him. Ah. This doesn't make any sense. 
To get answers, we have to find Ian. I only detect your heartbeat. If Ian is still here, it means he is deceased. I sometimes wonder right. who set your empathy parameters, Aisha. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Game saved. Oh, damn it. Oh my... But the med kit! <laughs> God damn it. I forgot, I think it's square to do this stuff. Engaging facial recognition. Uh-oh. I don't think I'll pass this. Class 1 criminal. Initiating offensive protocol. Uh oh. Looks like we've triggered the lab security protocol. Okay, it's a twin stick shooter. Security drones out of commission. Requesting backup. Get out of here. Alert. Alert. Drones Dodge. Aim to dash. Thanks, okay. Aisha. I'd already noticed. Hey, don't be rude. Oh, shit. Gotcha. Fucko. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Four. Let's use a health kit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, reload. Oh, aim and reload. Okay. Oh, shit. Unlocked. Coolio, let's get it. Your marksmanship is intact, Conrad. Thanks. Thanks, Aisha. To be honest, you played a part in that. Now we got a little access card. Okay, and I can go get that med kit that I missed. Jump, you fool! Should be working now. Oh shit. Connie, can you tell me more about this alien threat? I can't find anything on that topic in the GBI database. While testing molecular goggles I was developing for my thesis, <gasps> I discovered the existence of the morphs, aliens able to take human shape. They infiltrated society, stole key positions, and manipulated our data. So he's been trying to figure this out for he eight years. No found. Let's look for some clues. Oh. Uh, confidential altitude. Da, da, da. And announced during the last staff meeting, our laboratory will cease all activity from quarter three of this year. Indeed, our new majority shareholder, industrial group CBZO, uh, decided to group all its cloning business as well as the entirety of its bioengineering hub with its subsidiary Cabantech. An employment preservation scheme will soon be presented to you, including notably retraining courses for employees in tiers D to G and early retirement offers for staff members over the age of 77. <clears throat> we take the opportunity to remind all the employees leaving us on the occasion of this new chapter in Atlantitude's adventure to return all hardware passes, uh, implants, documentation, confidential data belonging to CBZ, CBZO group. <coughs> Good luck to all. And thank you for your diligence and personal implication during these past 30 years. Cool. Oh, God. Duck. Shoot the grid. And I'm out. This triangular card. If it belongs to Ian's kidnappers, it should help me track them down. That's a strange card. Uh -oh. I wonder what this terminal is used for. Let's have a look. Let's reload. This one up here? Hack security. Uh. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Let's 
just uh, a lot less annoying than some of the fucking hacking games I've seen. Oh. Warning. This enemy regenerates its health. Not fast enough, barely. Oh, okay, it's a safe station. I don't think we'll find anything else in this lab. Let's get out of here. Oh, Holocube. To Ian, dear Ian, here's some useful information about Conrad's combat AI. During its development, we picked an acronym invoking a human name for it since its design is to mimic the kind of complicity which would develop organically between two teammates. It's thus been filed under the name Artificial Intelligence Strategic Human Assistant, Aisha. Since the research upon uh, which the empathy module is based is still in experimental stage. Hold on. God, I'm all stopped up. Uh, I've set it at the base level. Conrad will be free to set it as he sees fit later at, as the AI learns to know him. Here are the system architecture principles upon which... Oh my god, I don't care. <laughs> god, that's too much reading. Yeah, that's what I like about Robocop. Is uh, anything that you pick up you have to read. It's really short and brief. It's very nice. I like it. A market? Wow. How am I supposed to find Ian in this mess? It's a lot of detail here. Hey. You were in this building. Were you hurt? The explosion shook the whole market. Is she Canadian or is that just northern? I'm okay, thanks. You were lucky. Is there anyone injured inside? No, I just Intrusive witness? No one but me. Still, you may have seen people exiting before me? Yes. Two burly men carrying a guy who looked pretty banged up. If you want my opinion, the mutants did this. Unless it was the Triangle Mafia. Alright, that's uh, definitely top five worst Mafia names ever. Shush! You're gonna get us in trouble. The Triangle Mafia. Triangle Mafia. Like the card I found in the lab. Is it related? All right, so I guess when they have these circles around them, that means you can talk May to them. May I ask you a question? About what? About what? This card. Do you know what this triangle logo stands for? Friends of yours. Not really. Do you know where I can find them? Well, you could try Stoli's. Belongs to Mike Corleone, the triangle's boss. All right, when Conrad's just talking normally, his the voice actor's all right. Oh, it's bearable. clear if I were you. Unless you're looking for trouble. For your information, Stoli's is on the other <coughs> side of the market, but you'll need a code to enter. And do you know this code by any chance? Nope. Too bad. You should ask Noe Jadik at the market. He knows quite a lot of things. He sells medicinal plants. Marijuana, got everything. it. Be careful, okay? Don't want your death on my conscience. Okay, let's get moving. We need to find this Jadik person. The guy said he sold medicinal plants. I like that he's like... <laughs> the guy's like, who the fuck are you talking to? Oh, uh, nobody. Okay. Let's see, what's this? Oh, save game. Ooh, so you can ride a bike to leave. I need a card in order to use it. Rent a motorbike. Sweet. Alright. I like this little... Where you can, uh... I like this little city hub. This is cool. Reminds me a little bit of the ascent. I need to know more about the Triangle Mafia. Okay, here's a guy right here. No Ajatic, right? Who's asking? My name's Conrad Hart. Someone said you could help me. Oh. Um. I guess get to a point. I was huh? told you could give me the code to get into Stoli's club. Whoever told you that was wrong. And if I knew the code, why would I give it to you? Uh, show triangle card. I was given this card, plus a hint I had to go to Stoli's. I see. I guess if you're really looking for trouble, just say T-180 to get in. Thanks for your help. Yeah. If anyone comes at me because of you, I'll know. Alright. Stoli's Club. Ah, there it is. Cool. The code. Usually people start by saying hello. Oh, dude. Yeah. 
Usually people don't mess with me. I don't doubt it. The code would be T180. Okay, pro tip. Downstairs. They're the kind of guys you don't want to mess with either. Thanks for the either. tip. Yeah, like, don't be a smart ass when you get in there, is what he's basically saying. Take a mission. No missions. Okay, cool. Get a little side missions. Sorry, I just reload my gun. <laughs> Before I go to this club where I'm not supposed to mess with anyone. Well, I'm sorry here. There's a lot of detail in this world, I'll give it that. It's pretty cool. Alright, now you can't use your gun anymore. Oh, shit. Or maybe it's saying, don't pull out your fucking gun. Need anything? Uh, learn more about the market. What can a man find on the market up there? Another one who's not from around here. Everything, especially if it's illegal. It's an underground market, after all. That's what I thought. Did you need something else? Uh... I'll order a drink. Wait, do I have any money? I don't know. I'm busy. Some other time. I can walk up to the bartender. I never like, understood why humans were so interested in wiggling together. It's a brilliant way to meet other people, and we humans love meeting other people. Yeah, you wiggle where all do you over think them. Where are you going? All right. The mech zone is closed for now, man. All right, I'll come back. Let's go downstairs. Hey there. Nobody gets downstairs unless I say so. I'm looking for one Mike Corleone. Do I look like a receptionist to you? Get lost. All right, but I'll tell Mike how you were overzealous when he asks why I didn't come. Somebody gave me this card and the name of this bar. All right, go on in. I was going to say, I was like, that's the end of the game, I guess, because I don't know where else to go. The opulent style of this place indicates its owner is a man of means. Okay. Uh, there he is, Don Corleone. I think this badge belongs to you, Mr. Corleone. I'm Conrad Hart from the GBI. I'm looking for my friend Ian Nemechek. Ah, welcome to Stoli's, son. You'll find lots of great stuff here, but unfortunately not your friend. Hmm. He did some shady stuff. Some important people really wanted to talk to him all of a sudden. Where is he? The stubborn kind, eh? <laughs> I like that. By any chance, do you know your way around a mech? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, underground mech fights are kind of my thing. But I can't get a win against Shark Fu. My rival's champion. You beat him. And then we'll talk. Shark Fu, huh? I'd have to get a mech. You can get one for a thousand credits at Stoli's. And if you're strapped for cash, you can get a job at the Pacifica job. Just like in the first game. Yeah. Take this motorbike rental car. It'll make getting around easier. Good luck, Conrad Hart. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Earn a thousand credits. Cool. What? Conrad B. Hart, you're under arrest! Drop your weapon and follow me! Sorry, I don't think so. How come a guard wants to arrest me? Maybe the lab security system will get some of the intrusion, Conrad. Alright, let's get out of here. Jesus. 
Yeah, I'd knocks head the to chest out. My cover's blown here. Pacifica, like in Cyberpunk. Pacifica, still Pacifica. Is he wearing a helmet? That's a weird helmet. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought they were coming at me, and I was like, what the fuck? Welcome to Pacifica. Alright. Here we go again. Things we do to find Ian. Preferably alive if we want answers. Are they supposed to be talking there and we just don't hear it? Weapons are not allowed here. You want my picture or what? We're were you quit being a hassle, damn fuse? Oh. Bam, 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 bam. What was that? <coughs> Propaganda 6. Let's end the United World's tyranny. Okay. Hello. Motorcycles are really not easy to drive. Yeah. Uh, there's a holocube. Welcome to Pacifica Mall. I don't care. Too much to read. Save my game. Hey, right, there's a job agency. Hello, welcome to the job agency. How may I help you? Nah, we'll just do what is this place real quick. Or not? It's not letting me choose it. Oh, what is this place? This is the job agency. Here you can choose missions from the terminals. When you successfully complete a job, you earn money. Thanks for the info. Sounds pretty straightforward. I'd like to sign up. Can I? Of course. I'll get you signed up right away. To help you in your missions, you'll receive 150 credits when signing up. That's pretty cool. You can use the terminals to look for jobs. You earn money each time you complete a mission. All Anything right. else? See you. See you. All right. Tanya Corbett's currently searching the whereabouts of a dangerous individual named Stanley Prater, who is guilty of acts of terror. The individual is on the run and went hiding inside the Pacific Mall, where he was spotted by CCTV. He is tall, has a beard. If you see him, notify the proper authorities immediately. 350 credits. Let's do it. I have to comb the whole Pacifica Mall. All right. So tall with a beard. That should be easy. Excuse me. Have you seen this person recently? His name is Stanley Prater. He's a colleague of mine. Sorry, I'm late. But you're sitting down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Excuse me, have you seen this person recently? His name is Stanley Prater. He's a colleague of mine. Yeah. Uh, didn't see any guy with a beard today. Those are pretty rare in the future, man. <coughs> oh. Okay. See what we got. Anybody? New Tokyo. Sweet. I assume that's a place we'll probably be going at some point. Show to Mars is delayed because of this problem. Okay, can't go in these places. Okay, can't go in there. So is he out here? Somewhere? Ooh. Is that him? Nope. What in the actual fuck? Alright. 
Titan travel. Excuse me, have you seen this person recently? His name is Stanley Prater. He's a colleague of mine. Ah, yes! I saw a big guy with a beard and a cap go through the storage door in a hurry. But you'll need the access code to enter. Ah, uh, yes, the code. How silly of me. I forgot it. It's my first day, you know? Oh, I understand. It's always hard when you're just starting out. For example, oh, when no. I started, I sent an astrophobic couple to Jupiter by mistake. My boss didn't appreciate it, but fortunately, I was able to... Um, could we focus on my issue, please? Do you have the code? Oh, sorry. I tend to overshare. I know it's a major flaw. But no, no agency employee has the code. We're not allowed in the zone behind the door. However, a month or so ago, Hong, the Pacifica technician, came to fix the access terminal. Hong's really my kind of guy, with that pink punk hair, oh my his God. olive skin. Anyway, while I was watching him, I saw the first two letters of the code he was entering to test it. X and O. I couldn't see the last two letters. I ran into Hong this morning on my way in. He was at the bike rental place downstairs. If you go see Hong, tell him Stacy sent you. That's me. All right, I'll tell him. Oh, wow. Jeez, she's annoying. Okay. Let's talk to Hong. Wait, no. this, oh, my guy keep pulling out the gun. <laughs> hey, are you, are Hong? you Hong? The technician who are you Hong, the bro? Travel agency. Bloody is it out of order again? No, everything's okay. Uh, I simply need the code to open the door. Stacy told me you could give it to me. I don't know, no Stacy. Unless you're talking about the needy travel agent. But in any case, I'm not supposed to give the code to anyone. I have to rescue a colleague trapped inside, but I can't remember the full access code. Huh. I have to rescue a colleague trapped inside, but I can't remember the full access code. All right. That's too bad, mate. Oh, my Maybe God. the two of us can piece the code together. I have the first two characters. And I have the last two, but these are the most expensive. Oh if you want God, them, are you serious? you'll have to cough it up. For 50 credits, I'll oh. give you the missing characters. Yeah, just bribe them, man. Come on, we only got time for this shit. You drive a hard bargain, but all right, here's the money. So, what are the last letters in the code? I think it was L and R. Now, please let me work. See you soon. Be back to fucking shoot you in your kneecaps if that's not correct. So X O L R. X O L R. What's this? Uh, daily economics. How fun. So, the code is zero X L R. Okay. Noise. I can use my weapon. You shoot everything in sight. Is that something? Immediately being attacked. Oh, there he is. On the verge of death, I guess. Oh shit! Ross, what's up? Stanley Prater, are you all right? I'm handsome Stan himself, yeah. And I've seen better days. Titan Corp. Got to me. It's game over, man. Oh my god. No, you don't always have to use a fucking line, you know what I mean? One of the good guys. Take this code. Please. Code? It's very important. Give them to Jock. And wish the organization good luck. Titan Corp won't have the last laugh. Stanley! Poor guy. He's dead. I'd like to know who this I mean, he's still moving, so I don't know. Code is for. 
If you want to get paid for the mission, Conrad, the priority is to return to the job agency. Yeah, you're right, Aisha. Stealth control module. Sweet. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, my God. Oh, shit! Oh, so it's self destructs. Cool. Oh, shit! Okay. Let's go get paid. Weapons are not allowed here. Okay. So, do we go back to this or? Oh, okay, I guess we talk to that guy and go, hey, got it. Hello, welcome to the job age. I found Stanley Prater, the wanted man, but he's dead. His body is located under the travel agency in a storeroom. Good work. We'll send a cleanup crew. Thank you. Sweet. All right, let's get another mission. The client asks you to collect two packages from a young woman in the front of a job agency at Pacifica. These packages are to be delivered to one of the market stalls in Antarctica. Password to give in order to obtain the packages is form. 300 credits. All right. Oh. Oh, nope, never mind. Uh, uh, no. Okay, talk to this lady. What's it about? Hello, are you the person I need to see to pick up two packages? That's correct. Have you got the password? Yes, it's P H O R M. That's right. Here are the packages. You must deliver them to the Arctic market right away. Understood. Who must I talk to down there? No idea. Nobody gave me that info. Boss gets mad when we ask too many questions. All right, that's vague, but I'll figure it out. I love vague instructions. Let's go. Oh, I gotta do it again. For your well being, please favor walking and cycling. Oh. I gotta go to Arctica. Oops. So it used to be a train would take you to each place. To be honest, I almost kind of prefer, but sorry, right. they had to make it interesting. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Ah, shit! God, this part is terrible. It sucks my ass. That's right, Atlantica. There goes. There's Arctica. All right. Arctica, I hope it's not freezing in this area. You never dress warm enough, Conrad. You should wear a sweater. He's wearing a fucking jacket. What are you talking about? Oh, so we start off in Arctica. Shit. Well, that's good. Another soldier. Where? Oh yeah, it regenerates its health, right? Okay, so I gotta find.
little bit of packages. Okay, um... So I'm just supposed to, I guess, find a, a circle around someone. Oh, shit. Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's that boss guy. Alright, somebody random? Nope. Well, kid, did you get the money to buy a mech? Not yet, Mr. Corleone, but I'm on it. Okay, it's not for him. Did you get the money to buy a mech? Shut your ass up. Okay, well, I mean, what is it supposed to be for, though? Sell cabbage, enough said. Titan Bailey, no. Who am I supposed to give it to here, man? This is fucking dumb. God, where am I supposed to deliver this bullshit? Package to be delivered. That's like not gonna tell me where. Oh, is it right here? Oops. You must be the delivery man. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see that. Here are your two packages. Someone made a mistake. I was only expecting one package. Really? But what am I supposed to do with the second one then? It must be for my partner. Deliver it to him in Atlantic. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Well, at least it stopped attacking me, so that's good. Yeah, I gotta say, this whole driving thing sucks. And I guess that stuff just stayed there on the side of the screen. Pacifica, we need to go to Atlantica, which we passed. <coughs> oh man. Whoa, oh, cool. I like the music. The soundtrack to this game isn't bad. It's very uh, Mass Effect, Deus Ex type, you know. Which I am always down to listen to. There we are, Atlantica. That sign said Atlantic Call. I love this ring road, Aisha. Isn't it a bit repetitive? Yes. Atlantica? So. Who should I deliver the second package to? Oh my god, really? More soldiers. Yeah, I was hoping an area where I didn't have to worry about this shit. Dama. Okay. OK. 
Okay. Sweet. Titan core. Hmm. Economic snow. Hey, you. I I've been waiting ages for a delivery. Are Sweet. you the guy? Yes, this must be for you. Your colleague could have warned me about the welcoming party. You mean the drones? Yeah, yeah. I missed the endanger your life for a delivery line in the job ad. What's in those packages? There are some things in life that are best left unknown, young man. But thanks to you, it's a done deal. Now if you could make yourself scarce. I like that suspicious woman looks this like another chick. Over, Conrad. You must find another one to reach the amount of 1,000 oh, no. credits. I'm stuck. No! You gotta be you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. I'm i I'm stuck. Oh my god. Come on. It better load me right fucking here. Save a. Okay, I guess that's it. That's stupid. <coughs> that's it. Oh my god. Why would it let me deliver? Oh my god, this is stupid. Another soldier. Well, is that it? That's all you got? Okay, it's this lady right here. Everybody to calm down, relax, so I can uh, get back to my mission, please. Oh my god. Okay, are we good or what, man? Like, why? Where's the lady that I'm supposed to talk to right here? That's supposed to be like right here. Oh, this is so fucking dumb, bro. Alright guys, well that's flashback too. I don't like this game. It's um it feels like such a rehash of the first one. And then there's just these points where like like this, like why is it letting me talk to lady? Why is this fucking robot still here? It's not doing anything. Um yeah. I'd avoid this. It's definitely not it does not uh I mean the first look, the first game is it, it has a lot of nostalgia, but overall the game is eh. It's hard as shit, which doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, it's just a hard game from the fucking early ages of gaming. Uh, this one is just, I don't know. It's like it, the environments are real nice, but like it doesn't really. Oh my god! Now I can you talk to her. Hold on, let's let's at least finish this one. Got it, got it going. If I glitch out and get stuck again, we're fucking done. 
Because I was actually, I want to, I kind of want to do the mech thing. I want to see what the fucking mech thing's about. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I'll probably glitch out and fucking freeze. Game will just crash. Like, this part is annoying, because if you want to reach one, you have to go all the way around. Like I said, in the first one, you'd go on a train and you would just sit in the train until it got there. Which is a lot nicer than, than this. Like, I get it's the future, but the idea of them making a translucent fucking freeway <laughs> is kind of dumb. to call Atlantikai? Oh, no. <coughs> I love this ring road. And also, Atlantica. just because you dog so, on the dumb shit you do, who should I deliver this second package to? Doesn't mean that it's okay. More soldiers. Shoot it. It's like my fucking gun wouldn't shoot anymore. It's like all regenerating, but then I can shoot it. Okay. This game has no consistency. Hey, you. I I've been waiting. Yes. The you mean the drop? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. This mission is over, Conrad. You must find another one to reach the amount of one thousand credits. Thank you. I know. Ugh. Oh, okay. What is this? Propaganda 7. The jungle gave us our atmosphere. Let's not smother it. Okay. Wish we could get jobs out here, you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. Never mind. Titan Exco Exocorps Laboratory. Ex Exogenous creatures studied at the Atlantic Atlantica Research Laboratory were mistakenly released. The staff appears to have perished in the incident with the exception of Amy, the director's daughter, who has, was visiting her father. Go to the laboratory in the West Atlantica Valley find uh, Amy and get her safe and sound 400 credits. This should be the last one. Save a kid. I have to hurry. Save a kid. So, west end of Atlantica Valley. Okay. Well, it said Titan Core, and that was down here. Uh, there was this thing. So I assume it's back here. No? No, it's not? Okay. Well, never mind. I just don't know what I'm talking about. Fuck. Okay, it doesn't continue. Oh, Exocore Labs. I got the arrows pointing this way. Do 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 do. Ah! Titan Exocore. It must be here. Right on. Well, it sure looks like being a scientist comes with many professional hazards. That's not in line with the statistical data I found. Smart-ass bitch. I wonder what kind of horrific experiments they conducted here. Yeah, me too. Uh, is that a... Can you pick that up? Thank you. Oh my god. I can confirm that the lab staff is dead. Oh. Okay. 
Oh shit. Oh, okay. Right, that's locked, okay. What kind of a critter is this? What kind of critter is this one? Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Okay. There are drones here too. Very perceptive. Drones must be effective against the monsters that dwell here. I guess. Oh god. Oh. Never mind. I hear the girl snip snip. Anybody there? The door's locked. Who's there? My name is Con. Tiny voice. Can you open the door, please? I'll help you get out of there. Gling. Oh. You're Amy, the director's daughter, right? Don't worry, I'll get you out of here. Follow me. But where's my dad and my teddy bear? Amy, you seem a little too old to be asking for a teddy bear. Well, okay. I don't really know about your dad, but what does your teddy bear look like? I lost him in the room downstairs. <laughs> Where those monsters are. <laughs> I don't want to leave without my teddy bear. I mean, fuck my All dad. Right, I'll go find it. But after that, we leave, okay? Sure, yeah, whatever. Uh, game saved. Okay, what's, what's this? It's just gonna be a fucking med kit. That's all I fucking find. There's no, like, grenades or anything really cool. Alright. This room is full of these monsters. Oh, and there's a teddy bear. How do I get in there? So we're gonna jump into the vent. Cool. Ugh. Of course, I have to get down there. It won't just. Oh, that's because there's an invisible wall. Got it. Ah, some flying monstrosity. Oh my I'll god, never have dude. Bug spray. Get in there! Oh my god, I get stuck again? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> hey, I can kill that. Oh my god, dude, duck. Duck, get in there! Alright guys, that's the end of fucking Flashback 2. Fuck this game. It, uh, it needs a little more time to cook. It got taken out of the oven too early. Uh, Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first impressions of Fla Flashback 2. Uh, it's not good. It's not good. It's pretty generic. It's a rehash of the first game. It's buggy as shit. Um, anyway, until next time. Peace.